In the book of Psalm 113, verse 9. Psalm 113, verse 9. The Bible says, It maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. Every voice that says no to my ability to conceive, die in the name of Jesus. Every voice that says no to my ability to conceive, die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every voice that says no to my ability to conceive, die, 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 die. die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you're not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. We are looking on a topic, five dreams that indicate the front of the womb. Five dreams that indicate the front of the womb. Have you been trusting God or looking unto God for the front of the womb? How old is your marriage? Have you been trying several efforts? just for you to conceive, just for the world to call you a mother? Have you been experiencing pressure from your in-law's side? Have you been experiencing some kind of threat from your husband that if you do not conceive this particular month or your husband is going to separate or divorce you? Worry no more because the God that you are serving is a living God, is the God of the all possibilities. The Bible says in our scripture, it maketh the barren woman fruitful. A barren woman fruitful. The Bible says you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the living water, bearing forth its fruits. If other people are conceiving, other people are bearing fruits. Don't worry. It is their own time. It is their season. Celebrate with them. Rejoice with them. You know, dance with them. But your own time is coming. I understand your frustration. I understand how long you have been expecting God to give you the fruit of the womb. Like two years in the marriage, three years, four years, five years. Don't worry. But when the time comes, the Bible says it will make it at the right time. I pray for you today. May the Lord God restore all your wasted years in that marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are dreams and there are dreams. There are visions and there are visions. There are revelations and there are revelations. Are you a woman? And you have been having dreams whereby you are seeing children. You are seeing babies. You are even breastfeeding. Not every dream about breastfeeding a baby is bad. Some of them are still good. Have you been having visions whereby you are playing with children? Have you been having revelations that indicate that you're still going to bear fruit in your husband's house. Fear no more, because Jesus Christ has come to make you laugh. Jesus Christ has come to make you rejoice. Jesus Christ has come to take away the garment of shame and reproach from your life. The Bible says, it will make you a joyful mother in your husband's house. Don't worry. If God can tell you that you are going to be fruitful, you are going to conceive, you are going to bear children. If prophets have told you that you are even giving birth to a baby boy, giving birth to a baby girl, some prophets have not told you that you are going to give birth to twins, triplets, don't worry. Those are prophecy. They will surely come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to say this. If you are looking unto God for the front of the womb and you have been taking some kinds of self-medication, especially all these local herbs, Sometimes, local herbs can help. Sometimes, local herb can terminate pregnancy. You may not know. You may be taking some kind of concussion, some kind of, of herbs, or in the name of healing your stomach, or quenching the internal or the hotness of the body. But by the time you are drinking the herbs, for some people, you are terminating the chances of that pregnancy to come and stay in your life. Before you take any drug, 
before you take any herbs, pray to God. I'm telling you this, a lot of people have terminated their pregnancy all in the name of taking drug, self-medication, taking uh, local herbs. Please and please be guided. So what are those dreams that indicate you are still going to call a joyful mother? Children will surround your table, no, no doubt. You are going to carry your own baby, no doubt. If God tells you that you should adopt a baby, do not ignore that voice. If God tells you that you should go to orphanage home, adopt a baby boy, adopt a baby girl, do not say, how can I be training other people's children? It is the voice of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Some people get their own biological baby through adoption of babies. Some people get their own biological babies through training other people's children. Some people get the fruit of the womb, like showing knives, like buying gifts to a mother that nearly got birth, to a mother that just finished giving birth. God has programmed the way he will bless our women through the gift of the fruit of the womb. I pray for you today. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you have been looking unto God for the fruit of the womb, or your womb has been caused, or you are currently inherited some kind of trend, negative pattern in your family of barrenness, today will be the end of that evil pattern. If you have been having series of miscarriages, none of them ever stayed. Today will be the end of that miscarriages, of that pregnancy in the name of Jesus. So quickly, what are the dreams that show that the fruit of the womb is coming? Take note of that. That shows that pregnancy is coming. Many women do not know this. When God tells you, I am going to give you a child, and that child is a promising child, know for sure, the prophecy may delay, but it will surely come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. So what are those dreams? Number one, seeing fish in the dream, many fish, colorful fish, especially in the water. The fish in that water represent fertility. So which means that you are fertile. Whether they say that you have fibroid or you have hormonal imbalances or you have blockage of the womb, that is doctor's report. It is not God's report. But God's report has been indicated to you in the dream, which is seeing fish in the dream, fishes in the dream. And for some women, it could be telling them that they are pregnant. I know a story of a woman. It is even her husband that God used to tell her that she is pregnant. God revealed a particular revelation to her husband. And her husband told his wife that, young woman, do you know that you are pregnant? The woman said, pregnant. Am I pregnant? I'm not pregnant. At least there's no normal symptoms of pregnancy. I'm not vomiting. I'm not having money, money sickness. I'm not having fever. Ah. The husband said, I have a conviction that you are pregnant. I have a dream. I saw fishes. I saw you trying to catch fish in the river. And I saw you pregnant. My dear, have you done a test? Go and do a test. Go to the hospital and carry a pregnancy test. Before she went to the hospital, she bought, uh, she bought this uh, pregnancy stripe. And she did that. Lo and behold, it was positive to pregnancy. For to clear her doubt, she went to the hospital and did that same test. And it was the same result, positive to pregnancy. God can reveal certain things that you are expecting from God. Not to you. Not to even your husband. God can reveal it to your parents. God can even reveal it to your friends. Your friend, your good friend, or your mother or your father may just decide to tell you. My sister, I saw you in my dream. I saw you getting pregnant. And whereas, so anytime you see revelation like that, or talks like that, do not end up taking drugs. Do not end up taking herbs. No. The first important thing is to do is go down your knee and begin to claim that prophecy. Don't be rushed to do a test. Don't be, continue praying. Continue praying. Have you ever heard of story of a woman desperate their period? During their period, they are still having pregnancy? What God cannot do does not exist. 
Therefore, if you are seeing fish in a dream, it is a sign that you are pregnant. And the Bible says that uh, even a natural man cannot receive the things of the Spirit. If you are trying to judge the work of God based on your flesh, you cannot receive it. Many people are pregnant, but physically they are not pregnant. But because they have a weak faith, but because they do not believe that they are going to be pregnant, they just ignore it. And that is why most of them, I will not say they are barren. That, that is why most of them are seeing finding challenges in getting conception. So when you are seeing fish in a dream, packing fish, catching fish, in fact, you are even packing fish in a bowl, you are fertile, you are pregnant. And if you are currently pregnant, those dreams are just in indicators that you are going to give birth safely to that bouncy baby boy or bouncy baby girl in Jesus' name. Number two dream that showed that fruit of the womb is coming or you are pregnant is seeing a tree with fruit in the dream. A tree. A tree just like a mother. A tree is just like a woman. And the leaf is just like the body of the woman or the internal body of the woman. But the fruit represents the womb. So when you are seeing a tree with fruit in the dream, ripe fruit for that matter, congratulations. You are in your season of growth. You are in your season of celebration. You are in your season of good news. And if you are expecting God for pregnancy and you are seeing a tree with fruit, start rejoicing. Start thanking God. There are some people, once you see a good dream, you just wake up, you will not pray, you will not thank God, you will not appreciate God, you will just go with your normal activities. No! I'm telling you. So when you are seeing a tree like that, with fruit, it's a good sign that fruit of the womb is coming. It's knocking at your door. So you just need that faith to bring that fruit of the womb come, to come to your place. It could be telling you that the angels that distribute pregnancies, they are around. That distribute babies, they are around. Do not depend on drugs. Do not depend on that local house you are taking. Do not damage your body by going to native doctor's house or, the, or in the name of, I need a child, I need a child. Do not go to strange places. Do not go to river and do spiritual bathing, all those kind of things. Simple dreams like this. If you can work on those dreams that you are seeing, especially the good ones, I am telling you that you are bringing those things which God has provided for you in the spirit realm as though they are in your body. So when you are seeing trees with fruit in the dream, it shows that pregnancy has come or something good is about to come that you will celebrate. I pray, may you be celebrated. May you be called a joyful mother. May children surround your home. Don't worry. I know you have spent a lot on your health, to get a child, to conceive, no problem. It's normal. It's because of your desperation. And I pray the Lord Almighty will disappoint your enemies and the Lord Almighty will make you happy in Jesus' name. Number three dreams that shows the fruit of the womb is coming is receiving a baby from someone in the dream. Receiving a baby, a baby from someone. Maybe someone you know, someone you don't know, receiving a baby as a woman, it is a sign that you have accepted that gift from God. It is a sign of your readiness to conceive. It is a sign that you are telling God, despite all your prayers, now you are not receiving the reward of your prayers. May you eat the fruit of your labor in the name of Jesus. So if you are trusting God for a child, for the fruit of the womb, receiving that baby shows that God has made provision for you in the marriage in Jesus' name. Just like God accepted the request of Anna. Anna prayed and God answered her request. Do not allow your emotion, do not allow that inner voice to disconnect you from that faith. It is possible. If those in the Bible can get pregnant, if those in the reality, despite many years in their marriage, God can still remember them. 
God will remember you. You will receive that gift from God any moment from now in Jesus' name. Number four dreams that show that front of the womb is coming is now that you have received that baby in the dream, you are now carrying a baby. You are carrying a baby as though it's your baby. Then, baby is coming. For some women, it is a signification that they are pregnant. All these things I'm sharing with you, all these points are not just points that just, that just come up like that. They are the testimonies of people that have called us. Praise the name of the Lord. So there are many of them. So I just decided to pick some of those points. So if you are carrying a baby, it's coming that pregnancy is coming. For some women, when you are carrying a baby, it's coming God wants you to adopt. For some women, as you are carrying a baby, it means that you need to stay close to children. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray that which you are seeing in the dream and you are still expecting to get hold of that thing, you will get it in the name of Jesus Christ. If God can silence the enemies of Sarah, God will silence your enemies over your case. And not only a one child, triplets, cup duplets, and many more like that in Jesus' name. Lastly, number five dreams that show that front of the womb is coming is playing with children in the dream. If you are a woman and you are seeing yourself playing with children, it is a good sign. It is a sign from the Holy Spirit encouraging you to avail yourself to stay close to children. Make them happy. Buy them something that will excite them. In fact, you can even bring children from your environment to your house. You can even tell children to pray for you. Those are the signs. You know, there was a story of a of a woman. The woman called me. In fact, I told the woman to do a particular thing. I said, you are believing God for the fruit of the womb. She said, yes. I said, look for a child. Maybe for about, maybe like five years, six years, seven years, or eight years. Any of those ages. Tell that child to pray for you. Ah, uh, don't say, ah, uh, yeah. Just look, whether in your compound, whether anywhere, whether in the church, just meet a child. Kneel before that child. Tell that child to lay his or her hand on your head and pray for you. Another, after the prayer, you buy that child gift. Maybe you can buy all those toys or something. Lo and behold, God did it. God gave that woman a bouncy baby boy. And it was a boy that was praying for this woman. Fit. Very strong. If only you believe, then you will receive. If you don't believe, it will never come. Some women believe more on drugs than believing in God. You must believe God more. You must trust in the doings. And God Almighty will make you laugh. In your company, you are the next to get pregnant. In your family, you are the next to get pregnant. Not only getting pregnant, but you are going to conceive a glorious child in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. Place your right hand upon your stomach and shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh ye my womb, hear the word of the Lord. Open by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh ye my womb, hear the word of the Lord. Open by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh ye my womb, hear the word of the Lord. Open by fire in Jesus' name. Two, O oh Lord my God, arise and remember me in my marriage by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my God, arise and remember me in my marriage by your mercy. Remember me in my marriage by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord my God, arise and remember me in my marriage by your mercy. In Jesus' name. Three, every power that says, no matter where I go, I will not conceive. Father, silence them in the name of Jesus. Every power that says, no matter where I go, I will not conceive. Silence my enemies, O Lord. Silence my enemies, O Lord. In Jesus' name. For lastly, say every evil hand place upon my womb. Wither in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand 
placed upon my womb. Wither, wither, wither every evil hand placed upon my womb. Wither, in Jesus' name, you are delivered. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.